Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, it's going to be one of those boring videos in which we talk about just one year and that year is going to be 1981, focusing in on the Lincoln penny in the year 1981. We'll talk about the mintages, we'll talk about the values of the regular strike coins, and we'll talk about the value of the 1981S proof type 2 mint mark. So 1979 and 1981. Uh, for the proof coins with the S mint mark on them. They actually had two different uh, varieties. So the type two is going to be worth a little bit more than your regular strike. So we'll describe what to look for in that. But first let's talk about why 1981 is of any significance for coin collecting. And it is because 1981 was the first, uh, excuse me, the last year, the last full year of production in which uh, the coin was mostly copper. It was 95% copper, 5% zinc for the full year 1981. Then in 1982, they started to switch over the metal content and the design quite slightly, and they switched over to the 97.5% zinc, 2.5% copper version of the coin. So 1982, you don't really know what you're getting as far as the metal content of the coin goes, but in 1981 and 1983, you can be quite certain. So I'm going to zoom in right here. Uh, people tend to like the 1981 uh, copper version of the coin a lot better than the zinc. The zinc tends to uh, fade and wear out quite a bit quicker than the mostly copper coin. This coin, in addition, will be worth 2.5 grams, the one on the right, the modern one, then the older one that will be worth 3.11 grams. If for some reason you are weighing your pennies and you find a penny dated 1983 that doesn't weigh 2.5 grams, you might have hit the absolute jackpot, but I'm not sure why anyone would really have the time to weigh all those coins. I've done a couple of videos about it uh, a while back, but it's a time consuming process and uh, you probably have better things to do than weigh 1983 pennies. So let's move 83 out of the way and we'll talk about this one right here, 1981. And the other 1981 I've got is this one right here on the left. So we have a Philly mint represented with a no mint mark and we have a Denver mint represented with that D mint mark. Let's quickly talk about the mintages of these coins. Then you'll kind of give a hint as far as their value goes. So there were 7,491,000,000 of these coins right here that were made at the Philadelphia Mint. At the Denver Mint, there are 5,373,000,000 of them that were made. So where there were 2 billion less of these coins compared to these coins. However, the value of a regular strike coin is going to be the exact same value. They are going to be worth 30 cents at a mint state 65, according to the Red Book Guide, which gives us some great pricing on all of the coins. Now there are there is one known error uh, with the 1981 pennies that's documented in the Cherry Pickers ga Guide to Rare Die and Variety Coins. However, it doesn't have anything to do with the Philadelphia or the Denver. It has to do with the San Francisco Mint Lincoln Penny. Now, when I was reading you the mintages, I didn't mention, mention San Francisco Mint. Those were made just for proof coins. So of course, the Mint sells proof sets every year. And in 1981, they sold 4,063,083 proof sets. And at a PF65 grade, those will be worth $3 uh, for just the penny. Uh, so you can take the penny out of that proof set if it's in a great shape and get that individually graded. So the 1981, much lower mintages, if you somehow happen to have a S mint mark penny with you, um, that means someone must have taken out of a proof set and put it into circulation. All right, let's get to that era coin. So there are two S mint mark styles that were used in both 1979 and 1981 proof Lincoln cents. For both years, the second mint mark style used, referred to as the type two, is the rarer and the more valuable than the first. Uh, interestingly, the Type 2 mint mark of 1979 is the same type as the Type 1 of 1981. So the mint has kind of always been switching up a little bit the different types, the different styles they use for the uh, mint marks because 
They got to make them small. They got to make them sturdy. Uh, but you still want to be able to see them so they're not an absolute blob. So here are the prices for that air, that uh, Type 2 mint mark for 1981 at a PF67. So that's a very highly graded coin. That will be worth $30 at a PF66, $24. Uh, $20 at a 65 and $10 at a 63 so uh, worth some money if you're looking to sell them on eBay however certainly not worth getting graded unless I don't know somehow you get above this you think you can get above a PF 67 grade uh, I gotta say that's highly unlikely though unless you hit uh, have one of the most perfect coins ever struck uh, in front of you all right, so let's quickly recap. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. What we talked about in today's video is the 1981 Lincoln cent. It's the last year that, last full year, I should correct that, last full year that the coin was 95% copper, 5% zinc. The mintages it were in the 7 billion and 5 billion range, and you wanna keep your eye out for that uh, 1981 S proof coin. All right, everyone, thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Take care.